Malvern, Pennsylvania, Main Line, Chester County's number three best school district, Great Valley. The school district is super important based on your taxes, based on the quality of life, based on the real estate values. So today we're talking all about in our school series, Great Valley. So Great Valley School District located in Malvern, Pennsylvania, Chester County. We've got just about 4,500 students. We've got a student to teacher ratio of about 12 to one. Now I do want to mention that the student to teacher ratio is does not necessarily mean that there are 12 students in each classroom. It's, it's about double that, maybe 20 or 22, somewhere in and on and around double that. It's not always the case, but the 12 to one ratio is how many staff versus uh, staff to student ratio, which is excellent. And having 20, even 24 students in the class is, is pretty darn good if you ask me. Great Valley is, always highly ranked with more than two thirds, more than three quarters of their students are proficient in math and science. 80% of those students are enrolled or are eligible to an AP course or gifted or, or enriched. Aren't we all enriched though? So we've done a bunch of videos on this and we did talk about some of the websites to check out, but I do want to mention what makes something ranked and why are you in the top three quarters and 81% of what? It's strictly based on test results all of the knowledge that we're pouring into these young minds and then they're now spitting it out or showing their stuff. What are the results of the tests that we're giving them that are regulated by the state? That's what makes you highly ranked. If you're doing good, you got a lot of students doing well, you're going to get a higher rank. Speaking of top ranked, we got really highly rated top ranked Great Valley High School, Charlestown or Charleston, Charlestown Elementary, also General Wayne Elementary School. So what's really cool about Great Valley, which is a little different than some of the others, but it has the highest concentration of top ranked schools, individual schools within the district. So I mentioned number three school in Chester County, uh, number three school district. We look at some of the local websites uh, or some of the local data on the websites. Take a look at niche or niche or niche, niche niche com, and we've done a whole video on this. We'll put some links around above, uh, in and around here as to what is a rank and, and what, there are so many different websites and how are they ranking it? An A plus, or are they on a number scale? But niche.com gives this an A plus all across the board. Of course, some of them are, some of the rankings that, that they look at are the amount of students in a classroom, the student experience. What are the people saying? What do the teachers say? Is it a good place to work? What kind of uh, structural support do they have? Do they have support staff? Do they have a lot of state funding? Do they have minimal federal funding? What does the food taste like in the cafeteria? <laughs> now, I don't think they're actually ranking that, but that's important. And Great Valley's got some delicious food, so I hear. Great Valley is, is one of the top 200 schools in the entire country. It's in under 500 schools of the best places to work and teach. It's in the top 1,000 districts with the best teachers in America. Now that's nationally. So you want to get a little more local top 20 school districts in the entire state. We got the top three, we got the top, I think it's number 17 or 18, depending on when you're watching this video, top 50 schools to teach at great Valley is now in the Philadelphia area. It's under 20 of the safest schools and most diverse. Now the elementary schools we mentioned, Charlestown, general Wayne. We also got Sugartown and Catherine D Markley. You got Great Valley Middle School and also Great Valley High School. 96% graduation rate and more than 90% of those graduates go on to higher education. Average SAT score of 1300. Now that's out of 1600. I think it is still nowadays. I can't remember what I got on my SAT scores. I think it was 1599. I'm not really sure. <laughs> So there's an average teacher's salary of about 94,000. You've got about 4,500 4, students attending. So Great Valley is also known for its fiscal strength, which is really important when it comes to budgeting. I mean, they're, they're spending about $23,000 per student, but it's within budget. They're not hoarding the money. They're not squandering the money, but they're not also frivolously spending it. Uh, what is included in this, so being 
fiscally strong, which uh, they're also physically strong. We'll get that to it into a minute. Fiscally strong is they've got this forward thinking. Now, a lot of the schools in the mainline area and in this Philadelphia metro general general area is they have this forward thinking where they're anticipating the influx of students. Uh, you might have heard me say this on another video, so it kind of might sound like I'm repeating myself, but it's very true where we at Great Valley School District are getting ready and we're, we are ready for an influx of students versus let's react once we get a bunch of students coming in or here's a, a new set of babies growing up and coming into our district, moving to the area, which a lot of people move to the area uh, to, to attend, just to attend the schools. We have folks coming and buying homes in districts just so they can go to the school districts. So I mentioned fiscally strong. What about physically strong? Well, what I mean by that is Great Valley has this, this wonderful blend of, of arts and science and math and music, extracurricular activities, which amount into the hundreds, are just as important part of the curriculum than the reading and the, the reading, writing, and arithmetic, the three R's. So. Sorry, Mrs. Rittenhouse of my third grade. I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't uh, offend you by, <laughs> by that. Now, the average price point of the houses in Great Valley District is right around that $350,000 price point. We get you some beautiful homes at, at double that and uh, just a little above half of that. If you wanted to do the math, I can certainly get you into a great place right around that two two twenty five dollars price point. Certainly, there are some beautiful homes. There's a lot of new construction going on. So it's one of the younger, one of the most younger areas, I want to say, where we've got, meaning we've got a lot more new construction in this area versus some of the other parts, just because we're there's there's not really a lot of space, so there's not really a lot going on. Well, if you are thinking of moving to the Philadelphia area, definitely want to check out our home buying guide and our home selling guide here. Grab yourself a copy; they are free put together by yours truly, and they are shown down in the notes below. Check out this video here, Living in Philadelphia, What are the Neighborhoods? Once again, thank you so much for checking out our channel, Living in Philadelphia, and watching this video. We'll look to see you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody.